I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Rebecca Mingella. She is the founder and CEO at Clarity AI. Rebecca, wonderful to have you on the show. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you very much for inviting me. Now, I want to talk with you, but before we do get started, I have a quick note to viewers. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Rebecca, tell me, what is Clarity AI? So Clarity is a support as a service platform mm -hmm. to assess sustainability. At the moment, focus on investors. So we, are, we empower investors to use the technology platform to assess any sustainable investing that they have but we are also targeting companies to do their sustainability assessment and very soon consumers as well. Okay, now there's some regulation around sustainability reporting in the EU and the SEC has also indicated that it may enter into regulation for the US in this area, um, especially around scope one and scope two emissions, which is direct emissions and indirect emissions from purchased energy. What do you think about this? So I believe it is important that there is some standardization and regulation around sustainable investing and sustainability in general. So we make it easier uh, for any stakeholder to, to do their reporting and their analysis. Uh, it's also important that the EU and the, and the US coordinate about that. Definitely climate is a topic. I would like to see that happening in other topics as well, but uh, it's, it's a good sign that the, 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 the US is taking that that approach of regulating scope one and two emissions. All right, now scope three emissions, which is indirect value chain emissions, seems more complicated. Um, are they too complicated for organizations to tackle? Uh, scope three is definitely a, a problem to, to tackle, and that is 80% of the, of the emissions. If you look at re reduction or the targets of reductions of emissions, 80% of what we need to address is the scope three emissions. So emissions that are not directly uh, controlled by the companies, right? If you are a company, it will be, as you say, your supply chain, so uh, upstream and downstream emissions. Uh, and it's, of course, complicated for the companies to not just measure, but of course, control, right? Or, or do anything about it. But it's important that we focus on those emissions as well, and we try to measure those as much as possible, for sure. All right, now, how are investors using this kind of information in the EU? And do you think that this is going to carry over into the US as well? Yeah, so the investors are using uh, any sustainability information and climate especially to assess risk and opportunities, right? But also because they want to have an impact, more and more an impact on the planet, right? A positive impact on the planet, not just a financial return, but also a positive impact on the planet. And uh, the way they use these numbers or, or these emissions is to try to optimize that, right? Identify companies that are doing better in those targets. Uh, also align that with their commitments. There are more and more uh, net zero commitments, so more and more investors signing uh, net zero commitments, also companies. So they need to definitely measure, track those numbers and make sure that we are all aligned to, to mitigate climate, climate change as much as possible and as soon as possible as well. Yes, indeed. All right, well, Rebecca, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you very much for inviting me again.